what's up? Um, I kind of have a uh, confirmation uh, on the new fault line in New Zealand. Um, so let's start here. Let me see. New Zealand, a powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake that smashed buildings, cracked roads and twist rail lines around the New Zealand city of Christchurch on Saturday also ripped a new 11 foot wide fault line. 11 foot, that's about 3 meters, so that's big. Uh, in the earth's surface, the officials said, said today. Uh, at least 500 buildings, including 90 downtown properties, have been designated as destroyed in the quake that struck at 4.35 a.m. 12.35 p.m. ET uh, Eastern Time Friday, near the South Ireland, uh, Iceland city of 400,000 people, but most of the buildings sustained only minor damage. Like that. Um, only two serious injuries were reported from the quake as chimneys and walls of older buildings were reduced to rubble and crumbled to the ground. Uh, yeah, to the ground. The Prime Minister said uh, it was a miracle no one was killed. It wasn't really a miracle because it was early in the morning and so lots of bricks, uh, brick buildings, so all those brick collapsed on the streets. So if you were walking outside, then it would be pretty dangerous. So it's not a mystery or anything, it's just lucky. Um, power was cut across the region. Uh, roads were blocked by debris and gas and water supplies were disrupted. Christchurch Mayor Bob Parker said he warned continuing aftershocks could, ca uh, could cause masonry to fall from damaged buildings. As I said, the bricks can fall from damaged buildings as could gale force uh, and that's dangerous. As could gale force uh, winds due to buffet the region Sunday so they have chance on high wind speeds today and those can blow off bricks as well uh, Canberra University geological uh, geology professor Mark Quigley said that um, looks to us th that it could uh, be a new fault line had ripped across the earth and pushed some surface areas up about three feet a meter the quake was caused by the ongoing collisions between the Pacific and the Australian tectonic plates, he said. One side of the earth was lured to the right, up to 11 feet, 3.5 meters. And in some places been trussed up, quickly told National Radio. The long linear fracture on the earth's surface does things like break apart houses break apart roads we went and saw two houses that were completely snapped in half by the earthquake he said and so we have uh, more um, that was from the MSPNC dot MSBCN thingy dot com um, we have the Seattle Times um, basically the same uh, same, same news story, all from the same source. Exactly the same on Yahoo News. Or I think almost the same. Uh, weather watch forecaster Philip Duncan said gale force winds of 40 miles an hour or 65 kilometers an hour and strong, stronger could cause serious issues to tree for trees and buildings that were weakened in Saturday's huge earthquake. So a little bit more, uh, that was Yahoo, uh, and Mail Online has the same. It's pretty dangerous if you have aftershock still running through and standing in the fall. I won't do that. 
That's some serious damage. We have a more detailed map. Um, it was above the river. Um, this is Christchurch. This is a fault line, uh, all active fault lines. But it has created a new one, as they say. Um, right above the epicenter, right up above the river. So somewhere over here, I think this one might be um, expanding. Has been expanded. This is a fault line. Oh, um, so this is Christchurch. Uh, I'm gonna remove that layer so you can see the fault lines so we have this fault line over here the epicenter was somewhere over here so I guess this one has been expanded and caused cracks way over here and over here we have a river you can see it slightly that's a river this one is again a big ass fault line on itself so no come on that's probably where the new uh, fault line has been created here we got a nice um, graph seismogram uh, on the earthquake Let's see if we can get it a little bit bigger and all those little aftershocks on some bigger ones over here over here About five bigger aftershocks. Might be more coming. We have some little a piece over there, and it's going through sep September fourth. I'm sorry. Uh. So actually Christchurch is, if I'm correct, somewhere around here, but this plate is moving 50, uh, 50 millimeters a year and this side of the plate is only moving 40 millimeters per year, so it's not um, all um, the same speed on the same places, that's where you get uh, more earthquakes and uh, heavier because parts need to break away from each other sometimes and over here we have 30 millimeters a year I hope they have a picture somewhere of those railroads you can see it in my movie on around one minute and it's pretty awesome actually to see but anyway that was it um, if you want to read it yourself I will put some of the links to the all those news things down here in the, in the more info box and well take care spin a rolling coil hm. starship coil it's pretty cool new yeah that's it I'm